This is a video walkthrough of the Atlas Amethyst 35 by 12 3 bed from 2004. It's got double glazing, it's got electric panel heaters and it's priced at 9995 so just a shade under £10,000. Uh, we're going to have a look around, talk about the condition and the layout. Just to note, the price does include new carpets fitted throughout the caravan, so where you see the green and um, sort of funny coloured carpets throughout, just bear in mind we will be fitting new ones to this. Might well have been done by the time you come to see the caravan, if not it will be done after it is sold. So some nice new grey carpet in here will really bring the caravan up. As you can see the upholstery itself looks to be okay. Looks in fairly um, decent condition. The carpets obviously aren't, but we won't talk about those. Um, but the upholstery itself looks decent. You've got this three-seater large um, sofa on the door side of the caravan there next to that big rectangular window. You've got this fitted wooden um, TV area really along the front with a shelf, a couple of cupboards and um, an area there for your TV. Turning to the opposite side there, you've got your gas fire um, magazine rack, which is bit retro but quite helpful for bits and pieces and then you've got a, another seat there's probably two seater there although that's quite a wide two seater sofa it's a good size living area here comfortable space with both the big um, seating areas plus your TV area there so it's a good spacious living room got quite a lot of glass as well so you've got the big um, square and rectangular windows on the front of the caravan. There's one behind me as well on the off side here. And then obviously you can see your window opposite there on the door side. Stepping then through from the living area, um, you would usually have a dining table here. Dining table and chairs by this dining window, which we can obviously fit for you if you'd like a dining chairs, um, dining table and chairs in here. Um, if you've got your own to supply then obviously we don't need to. Turning then you've got a horseshoe shaped kitchen which is a good size and it's set back a little bit from the living room area it's obviously directly opposite the dining area. We've got vinyl flooring here which just needs a clean but is okay. Um, so vinyl flooring for the dining um, eating area on our left hand side and then across to the kitchen. You've got some good cupboard space really above the sink here around and below and then we've got an under counter fridge on the left hand side here. Again if you wanted to fit a larger fridge, maybe fridge and freezer out there, you could remove some of the worktop to do that. And then on our right we've got our gas oven, um, gas hob, gas grill, a um, bit of rust and things around the fascia plate and on the hob and things. Um, it's not too bad overall, just maybe needs a little bit of a clean up. Turning then we've got our one exterior door which comes in here to the sort of dining open area here. We've got a little cupboard um, with some coat hooks in here. It's quite handy by the door there as you step in. And then walking down the hallway to the back of the caravan. Close these doors, go to the main bedroom here at the back. Which as you can see has got storage above the bed there and to the sides. Got a window there on the off side, the off side rear of the caravan, little mirror unit, wardrobe storage, another mirror there with your sort of vanity um, table there as we call them, and then there's an electric panel heater under the uh, bedroom window there. All the panel heaters, to be honest, have seen better days. That one's not too bad, just a bit of rust along the top which we can um, clean up and paint, um, but a couple of the other ones are a bit rusty. Um, at the rear of the caravan here, next to the main bedroom, we've got one of the twin rooms. Fairly straightforward, a couple of single beds, storage over the top, uh, window on the door side of the caravan, storage cupboard there on the right, your wardrobe, and then a little panel heater which is too rusty and needs to be replaced, which will be done within the cost. Red carpet in there obviously will be taken up. And then spinning round then in our hallway on our right hand side here, which is um, in front of the main bedroom, we've got our other twin room, although at the moment it's just got a, a double bed base in here. Um, we can change this back to two single beds, we can put a double in here or we could just remove the bed and you could have it as additional storage if you didn't need all three bedrooms. But you've got a floor to ceiling wardrobe in here whereas the other one um, in the other twin is just a half cupboard so that's quite helpful and then you've got another panel heater in here um, which is okay. I don't know if it's been replaced but it's not rusty so that one's fine. 
Um, turning then, we've got two doors here in our hallway. Um, we've got a toilet and sink in this one, as you can see. And then in our other one, we've got toilet, sink, and shower. Shower needs a good clean up. Um, it's not been cleaned yet, but good size shower, um, toilet and sink in there. So we've got two toilets, two sinks, and then the one shower cubicle in this one. Left hand side here is where our water heater is. That runs off the LPG and does our hot water for the kitchen and bathroom. Stepping out there through our one exterior door. And have a look around the outside. There's a pitched roof, it's not tiled, it's just a standard pitched roof. Bit of damage on the front corners. It's got these sort of um, metal barge bits which just need straightening out and refitting properly. Um, the Down the offside, a couple of nicks and bumps here and there, but fairly clean. And then down the door side, need a new outside light at the top there. That can be replaced. A few nicks and bumps here on the paintwork along the door side and beyond the door as well i mean they're not they're not really um bad damage but it's just a few pimple um, bits and pieces um nothing that you sort of notice too much but they are there and then the back seems to be okay just drop down and show you the chassis standard painted chassis Bit of surface rust. The steel will all look solid, so nothing's really to worry about there. So this is our Atlas Amethyst. It's a 35 or 36 by 12 three bed from 2004. It's got double glazing. It's got those electric panel heaters in the bedrooms and bathrooms, and it's priced at 9995.